you don't think people really care about gas prices? I think they do. So I am in line at a Costco station. Uh, there are a hundred cars in line here. Why? Because gas is cheaper. I'm going to be passing two other gas stations on the way home. Nobody there. Why? Because it's 50 or 60 cents a gallon more. People care about gas prices and that's an important part of our economy. Because I don't care who you are, I don't care how much money you have, we're all affected. And those are of YOLO RV Adventure. If you haven't noticed yet, gas prices are up. You know, fuel is one of the most significant uh, expenses for RVOs and every nickel counts when you're filling your fuel tanks and traveling frequently. Uh, gas prices are affecting many RV travel plans and um, I'm sure you are looking at where you're going to go and what you're going to do for this uh, upcoming summer season. Uh, many people are going to shorten their trips. They're going to be driving less. They're going to be staying in places longer. And they're going to be staying closer to home. But if you are traveling, there are some tips to help save uh, some nickels and dimes as you go across the country. So today we're going to look at some of the alternatives that are available. Uh, Gas Buddy is one of them. Uh, a TSD uh, card, if you have diesel, it's a wonderful way to save significant amounts of money. And of course, even Costco. Costco's prices offer you uh, the ability to save some dough. And, um, you know, sometimes you can save 15, 20, even 30 cents. Uh, but there are drawbacks to using Costco. So let's talk about it. Uh, not all Costco uh, locations offer fueling stations, but there are many that do. Uh, besides Costco, you also have Sam's Clubs. And Sam's Clubs have uh, many locations across the country. Uh, if you go on their website, or if you go on Google Maps, you can find um, where those stations are. And you click on the link and you can discover whether there are stations at the Costco or at the Sam's uh, locations. There are currently now nearly 600 Costco locations in the United States. Many of them are in California. Uh, they also have uh, many locations in Canada. So when you find a Costco near you, whether you're traveling, there'll be an icon on the Costco um, location uh, to tell you whether they have uh, fuel or not. Uh, one of the things that's uh, important to note is that not many of the Costco uh, locations carry diesel. So if you are a diesel, uh, you're a little bit out of luck, but I do have another solution for that. Not anyone can buy fuel at Costco. You must be a Costco member. But there's another way. It's called the Costco Shop Card. So if you have a friend or a relative who is a member of Costco, uh, they can buy gift cards, uh, and then that will allow them to sell or give those gift cards to you, and then you can uh, allow you as a non-member to fill up. Uh, Costco memberships, there are different memberships. Traditionally, the Gold Star membership costs $60 a year, as does a business membership. But then there is a level called executive membership, which I have, uh, which costs $120. But this includes a 2% uh, reward on any Costco purchases. Mm -hmm. We keep our uh, memberships at Costco and at Sam's exactly for the reason of fueling, uh, fueling our cars. But now that we have a Class A motorhome, and it's diesel, um, the Costco option is not very good. You must be really, really careful. Costco uh, configuration of Costco stations are um, difficult. They're often very crowded, so we suggest you go in early in the morning before the, uh, the grocery part of Costco opens, where the lines tend to be less, or go uh, later in the evening as well. Weekends are very busy but early in the morning and weekends and late at night on the weekends are free. If you are uh, have a towable and your uh, tow vehicle is a, a gasser, then, you know, you can always uh, detach it, uh, get your fuel, and then get out. But there's considerable uh, savings. A lot of people say, well, is Costco's fuel good fuel because it's cheaper? Uh, they buy their fuel just like every other brand from 
uh, refineries and distributors uh, in their area. And so that should give you a pretty good uh, peace of mind. Uh, the Kirkland signature fuel is guaranteed like any of the uh, merchandise at Costco warehouses and their gasoline has now been certified to be top tier performances. That's uh, very important. They also have diesel. One of the things I like about Costco when I'm doing it in my regular cars is that I know the gasoline is fresh. Uh, they have such volume and turnover. They have tank trucks, four or five, the one I go to seven tankers a day come in. So we know the gas is fresh. And um, and that's always a good thing. If you go to a, uh, a gas station that uh, uh, doesn't have that kind of volume, the gas can be stale and maybe have some water in it and so on. It varies by location, uh, but in some areas you can have as much as 30 cents a gallon savings. And when you're putting 100 gallons in a tank, that's $30. So that's, uh, that's not chump change. But be very, very careful. Uh, as any uh, fueling that you go to, to make sure that you are comfortable with the size of your rig and the configuration of the, of the fueling facility. I have a 40-foot motorhome, diesel with a tow vehicle. So I generally don't go to um, gas stations, retail nature. I'm always uh, looking to fuel up at a, at a fuel stop using my TSD card, which I will talk about in a moment. I don't think there's any downside to buying fuel at Costco. And some people say, well, I don't have to wait in line, but I found that the wait is, you know, no more than 10 minutes. So they're pretty efficient in moving the cars through there. So, and the low prices may be a good reason to, um, to have that little wait. Along the same lines in the uh, crowded stations, it's difficult, as I said, to maneuver so be very, very careful. Sometimes it's getting in is easy, the getting out may not be so easy. And with a towed vehicle using the tow bars today, um, it's very difficult to uh, get out and have to detach your tow vehicle because you're not able to uh, go in reverse at all. Uh, that would be a challenge. Uh, if you do fuel up at Costco, please tell us, put, put a comment down below so that we can uh, share your experiences with uh, our other viewers. Uh, again, if you're not a subscriber, we ask you to please subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up, and uh, hit that notification bell to get uh, to know when our next video is being posted. The second thing I want to talk about is TSD card. Uh, TSD is a transportation company uh, based out of Texas, and they have a lot of trucks in their fleet, and they found that as their volume increases, they found that... Uh, they can get better discounts at TAs and Loves and other retailers around the country. And so they started offering a TSD uh, card to RVs, diesel only at the moment. Uh, they are working towards getting gas involved. But right now, it's only diesel. <clears throat> the benefits are that, you number one, you go to a truck stop and use TA and Loves. Um, one of the advantages of the truck stop is not only the uh, space that you have to maneuver your rig, but also that the nozzles are much larger than the retail nozzles. So when you're putting 100, 150 gallons into your uh, tank and your rig, uh, it's much, much faster. The second thing that's, uh, that's important at these truck stops, uh, you can use the facilities, uh, they have food available and whatnot. Uh, but I also, uh, as an aside, caution you or uh, advise you that you should be uh, uh, courteous. Once you fuel up, don't go inside and dawdle and have lunch and so on and tie up that fuel lane. The truckers will get very upset. If you're only going to go in to get your receipt or to get something really quick, after you finish fueling, pull forward. There's usually a second line uh, on, the, uh, on the pavement that demarks the pull-up zone, pull up out of the bay so that the truck behind you can come in and they can fuel as well. And while they're fueling, because they're taking on 100, 150 gallons, sometimes 200 gallons, they're going to be a little bit longer and you pulled out of the way and then you can go in and uh, do your business, uh, get your receipt and, uh, and maybe get a snack. So the TSD card open to RV is, is for diesel only. Uh, when you apply, uh, you can do it through Open Road, which is uh, 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 an app that you have in your phone, and uh, you have to supply them with your uh, bank account. And the way it works is you put your TSD card in, pump your fuel, and you can do it right from the pump so you don't have to go in to uh, the facility. 
you put your TSD card in, you enter your PIN numbers and all the things that they ask you for. You can even get extra cash on the card if you want. You pump your fuel, and then the cost of your fuel is the pump price. The next day, you'll receive a statement showing you the pump price, whether you bought DEF and you can buy DEF, although there's no discount on DEF, whether you got extra cash or you made other purchases. But on the fuel amount, there will be a discount added or, or subtracted. And the discount, I've had discounts as much as a dollar a gallon. We did a trip uh, uh, recently, a two-month trip. Uh, we went about uh, 5,000 miles, and I think I saved $700 in, uh, in fuel rebates. So what they do is they, they send you a statement the next morning, and the statement shows what your fuel was at the pump, what the discount was, and what the net was. And then what they do is they take it directly uh, on an ACH right out of your checking account. So when you apply and you fill out your application, uh, you have to put your bank account in there. Now, some people are uncomfortable giving out their bank account. So what they've done and what I have done is I have set up a separate bank account specifically for TSD. And I keep $500, $1,000, $2,000 in that account, or I move it in as I need it. So the TSD, when they, when they ding that account for the amount of your purchase, on the, on the day following your fueling, uh, they only have access to your uh, that specific checking account and not your, your regular checking account. A little bit of a safety feature. I don't think it's a risk, uh, but uh, some people are uncomfortable and that makes the change. Uh, there will be a link below. It'll show you how to, um, uh, you click on it and open roads and it'll show you how to apply for a card and go through the process. So when you're on the road, you open the TSD Open Roads app on your phone, and on the phone, it will show you where the, uh, the fueling facilities are in your area. You can set to where you are going and the route you're going, and it will show them all along the routes. It will show the price uh, at the pump, and it will also show what the discount is. So you have a choice to choose wherever the highest discount is, whether if it's in reason. I try to use uh, fueling facilities that are off the highway so I don't spend a lot of time going in and out. So in the morning before I start, I, I make a, um, a determination on how many miles I'm going to go before I'm going to need fuel. Um, I usually don't let my fuel get below a quarter of a tank. Usually between a quarter and a half a tank, I, I top it off uh, just because I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't like fuel anxiety. And uh, so I'll top it off, but my wife will get on the app and I'll say, okay, in, in 120 miles, I'm going to need fuel. She puts it the uh, direction on the map and the location and the, and the route that we're going. And then she'll start to uh, read off what's available and where they are. And then we'll make that fuel stop. So it's very, very uh, efficient, really free money. And if you're not, if you're our diesel and you're not taking advantage of it, you're really missing out. The third way to save some money is using the Gas Buddy card. And the Gas Buddy card is just simply a discount card, very much like TSD, but it is for gas and all kinds of fuels. And once you sign up for the card, put in your destination or your location where you are, it'll give you all the gas prices within that area. It'll give you the ability to click on it and get directions to the station. And it'll show you what the discount is. And you can either use the card of the pump. And when you uh, subscribe for the discount, uh, you can say, I want this discount. Uh, usually within three hours, you have to be able to use it. Uh, you can use your regular card and then you take a picture of your receipt, send it to them, and they will credit you with the, the discounted amount. It's a little more cumbersome. Uh, but uh, that's available, especially for those of you uh, who are in gas vehicles. So I hope this has been helpful to you. It's becoming a major part of um, our expenses in RVing. And as I said, many people are changing their plans. They're shortening their trips. They're By camping close to home, you can still save some money. You can just have just as much fun. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave some comments below so you can share your experiences and how you go about saving fuel. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and we'll see you on the road.
please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you get notified when the next video is posted. Thank you for watching.